Hope you guys are having a great day. I am absolutely exhausted. Uh, I didn't get much sleep last night. And, you know, I don't sleep much as it is. So when I don't get that much sleep, that means I slept like an hour or two. So uh, I didn't sleep much. I killed myself in the gym today and uh, just had a lot of stuff going on today. And uh, I'm very happy that it's 7 o'clock because usually after 7 o'clock things start to wind down for me. I get to relax, be with the family. I still work throughout the night, but uh, it's a lot less hectic. Today I'm going to share a story from Ross. Now Ross is in the UK and he has an interesting story because the, the medications he's on are over the counter. Okay. So he says, hi Ryan, my name is Ross. I have been watching your videos on and off for a few years now. My whole story started with having surgery on my ankle and having to have a metal plate and pins all throughout it. I was prescribed codeine phosphate 30 milligrams on a repeat schedule and initially only took them as prescribed. Then I started to realize how much better they actually made me feel. Forget about life's worries, not care about anything, and once my script had run out, I would do anything to get more. Which included stealing from my family members and even stealing money from them to pay for it. Eventually the doctor stopped my script as one of the pharmacies reported me for buying lots of Nurofen Plus, which is 200 milligrams, I guess, ibuprofen and 12.8 milligrams of codeine. So I started doing tours of all the pharmacies to get packets of them. You know what that's like, I guess, in the UK, um, there's a couple of medications over the counter in the United States that they, you know, they take the, your license for and they monitor the, you know, the buying of these medications, these over the counter medications monthly. So if you go over a certain amount monthly, a uh, red flag goes up, they don't allow you to buy anymore, then you have people watching them. Um, one of those medications is Sudafed, um, another one I believe, um, is uh, it's a it's a asthma medicine called Primatine. It is uh, that's controlled too to a certain aspect. I think because it has ephedrine in it, and ephedrine is, you know, that was taken off the market a few years actually about ten years ago now. Um, so that's kind of the same deal that he's got going on in the UK. He says I tried extracting the codeine from the pills, but can never get it to work. So just took them all. It got to a point where I was taking a whole packet of 32 in one sittings, sometimes twice a day. This went on for, for one year or two until I met my partner in later 2013. She noticed I had a problem even though I did my best to hide it. She went away for Christmas for two weeks and I thought right now is the best time to start this. Needless to say, I lasted four days before it got too much. And so it continued until around July when my family got involved and manage, and I managed to stay clean for over a month. Then me and my partner split up. Things happened and I fell completely off the wagon. Unfortunately, at the beginning of 2015, I was sentenced to 18 months in prison for a fight. I only ended up serving six and a half months. It was my chance to get clean, and I did it all with no help, etc. Plenty of gym, let me scroll down. Plenty of gym education to keep my time occupied and reading books. The sad part is, as soon as I got out, all I could think about was fuck, fuck it, try it once more, and that's it. Well, we all know how that ends up, and it, you know. It's crazy, like so many people feel that same exact way. I mean, you could be, you know, you're clean six and a half months, and once the freedom kicks, you realize that you could do whatever you want. The, the brain and that voice in your head says, you know, maybe just one more time. We could just, you know, have one more, one more hurrah, and have, we'll have some fun since, you know, I got out of prison. And uh, that's, you know, you know, I mean, I don't have to tell you guys. As soon as you taste it, and the brain gets that rush, forget it, it's over. Uh, let's see. So here I am now, six days in, trying again. I have the week off work, so making things 
a little easier. I've started Muay Thai boxing and fitness classes, which are so hard right now, which is outstanding, by the way. But make me feel amazing. Plenty of protein shakes, amino acid supplements, green tea, and sitting on the beach catching some sun is actually making this really easy this time. Now, I know I keep interrupting his story. What he's doing is fantastic. I tell people all the time, do not just get stuck in the house. Do not lay in bed throughout the whole withdrawal because first you start getting manic. You start you know, clawing at the walls because you want to get out. Um, the other thing is when you lay around, you stay tired. Your body gets more tired. Um, and when you can't sleep and you're tired and overtired because all you're doing is laying around, you start to become extremely manic and irritable and pissed. So. What I tell people is, is if you can't sleep, get up, get out of bed, go walk around. If it's in the middle of the night, just get out of the bedroom. Because if you just lay there and stare at your ceiling, you're going to start freaking out. You're going to start, you know, having restless legs. You're going to start punching your legs. You're going to start punching your arms if you've got restless arms. And you're going to start just bugging. So if you can't sleep, you need to get up. You need to walk around the house, walk around outside. Just get out of bed, okay? And what he's doing by going out and exercising, it's fantastic. I mean, obviously most people can't exercise in the very early stages of withdrawal. They feel like they're going to die. They don't want to go and do Muay Thai. But a couple of days after you're in, I mean, getting into the gym and working out, if your doctor clears you to, to exercise, do it. If your nutrition is on point and you're exercising, you will heal so much faster. Withdrawals will go by so much faster. And the fact that he's getting in the sun and getting vitamin D and, and, you know, being out in fresh air and with nature and everything else helps you. I mean, we're human beings. We're supposed to be outside, okay? That's the way we were meant to live our lives. We just so happen to, you know, coddle ourselves now and hang around inside and it's really bad for us that that's all we do, or some of us. Okay, so what he's doing, that's why he's feeling so so good so quickly is that he's doing everything right, all right? Um, he says, I feel normal, but I know the pause is still to come. Now, pause, <laughs> I'm killing this guy's story. I keep interrupting him. Pause, I want people to understand. There is so much terrible information on the internet about pause, okay? Too many people think pause is going to happen to them. It doesn't happen to everybody. It actually happens to a very small amount of people. But the problem is, is that people start to expect it. All right, They think it's going to happen, so they start searching for symptoms of it. And when you start searching for symptoms of something, you're going to get it. You trick your body. Your brain is a very powerful thing. You, you trick your body into these symptoms, and you start to have them. If you don't even worry about pause, you go about your life, you, you eat nutritious meals, you don't eat a bunch of processed junk, you're exercising, you're giving your body what it deserves, you won't have pause. Okay? I can't say 100% you won't, but there's a very, very slim chance you'll get pause All right, if you do everything right. So don't expect it, because if you expect it, you'll get it. <clears throat> okay, he says pause is still to come which is why my main focus now is to train for my first competitive fight and keep busy. So what he's doing is right. He probably will never even deal with pause. I really need to kick it this time. I don't think my body can take much more of it. All as I've noticed some issues that never occurred before. Okay, so he's got some issues going on in his body. Just my two cents worth. Plenty of protein shakes and amino acids. Vigorous exercise. Get out, get fresh air. And as hard as it is, try and socialize with new people. It can make a world of difference. This guy's email is on point. Okay, this stuff, this is good stuff, what he's saying. But I would just like to say a massive thank you to Ryan and his videos. They have helped me a lot during times when I'm trying to stay clean. And the information he provides is spot on. Thanks again. You're welcome to use this story if you want. Many thanks, Ross um, from the UK. Now, everything he said is pretty much what I recommend okay the fact that he's getting outside he's you know he's supplementing he's he didn't mention it but I'm sure he's eating nutritious meals I mean there's nothing more important than what you put into your body okay if you have a great 
diet, and I don't mean diet like an Atkins diet, I mean what your intake is of food, if you eat correctly, if you eat what your body needs, not nothing processed, just whole whole foods, it doesn't have to be organic, because I know organic's expensive as hell, but if you're eating fruits and vegetables, if you're eating things that you can't get off of a shelf, okay, you're going to feel fantastic, all right? It's gonna take a little bit of time to start feeling well, but if you continue to eat things that will not last more than you know two or three days, and that you can't just put them on the shelf for a year, you're gonna feel good, all right? You stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, um, stay away from sugar and, and sodas and all that other junk. All that stuff makes you feel good for about 10 minutes and then your body just shuts down. You have all this sugar, your glucose levels are spiking, and what happens if you don't burn that? It turns to fat. Then you get fat, you feel, you feel gross, you're not happy with yourself, you get, become depressed, and bam, I think I have pause. No, you don't. You're depressed because you're fat. That's what happens, all right? So eat nutritious, exercise if your doctor allows you to, get outside, socialize, be happy that you're still here, and enjoy a freedom of life, okay? You have nothing holding you back anymore. You can skyrocket and just take over the damn world, all right? Does it sound good? It does. All right, so if you'd like to share your story, you can email me at ryanacomsupport.com. In the subject line, put YouTube story and my story. Let me know if you want to use your first or last name or stay anonymous. Uh, check out some more videos. Leave some love for Ross because his email is... It's on the shorter side, but packed with good stuff. Uh, I'm very happy that he wrote in with this today. As you can see, I'm pumped that he, uh, he shared this kind of stuff because I love it. All right, so uh, check out some more videos and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Take care.